Come on, Wes. You got to do this. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Wes. Back at you another video. Today, we're going to check out this combo demonstration and training mode featuring my girl, Estelle, from Streets to Rage 4. With that being said, let's get it cracking. Okay. Ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Overhead, she got some like, some like flying axe kick. What the hell? Jesus Christ. That move is gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna cover a lot of range. Yeah, she, that's, that move. What's this? Oh, that's, hold on, I never seen that. Hold on, hold on. That overhead punch? That's that's probably a uh, um that's probably a um a special that's that's what is that that's what you gonna call it uh offensive that's definitely an offensive special wow okay that's an offensive special offensive special obviously that's a defensive special that's a star attack word. All right, so we figured out, all right, star attack is definitely the knife. Okay, that, that uh, rising, that aerial axe kick, AKA leg drop, the OTG opponents, that's dope. All right, she's she's kind of ridiculous. This this is looking like madness, yo. This is look at, like absolute madness. Hold on, we're gonna play that again. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wonder, right? I wonder if after I wonder like right there on all the music again. Like right there if the opponent is a little further if you if Estelle and the opponent or rather if Estelle stabs the opponent. A little bit further from the wall would she be able to get a wall bounce would, would she be able to get a better wall bounce combo out of it like will the opponent not fly behind her but in front of her to to where she could juggle do more juggles from the floor to the wall i wonder about that that's that's pretty dang on interesting yo this this character she seems very very interesting very unique of course and I'm glad they added her in this game. This is this is kind of ridiculous. Oh no, that, that, my theory is wrong. Because the way he popped out, the way he popped out after he stabbed, after she stabbed him. Look, look at the way she popped. He popped. Yeah, see? He he didn't he popped up behind her. There was no bouncing off the wall. So yeah, I don't think that. I don't think that she'll get a wall bounce from that. Okay, OTG. And then on top of that, she, yo, what's dope about her star move is that obviously she pulls out a knife, but then it turns into a weapon she could use. No character in Streets of Rage history, let alone there being star moves in um, Streets of Rage, but there has been no character in Streets of Rage history spawn a move from her special, from their specials, or any, that's, this this character is unique and ridiculous. I'm definitely gonna use her when the game drops. But yeah, she's, the people at Dot .emu, Lizard Cube, and Guard Crush, y'all y'all doing amazing with this game. On top, on top of that, I wonder if, Obviously, we see these uh, DLC characters are going to be unique from the class, from the original cast. But are they going to have custom moves as well that we can add elemental abilities to their attacks? I wonder. Like the rep the replay value on this game is going to be ridiculous. Everybody can have their own customized loadout for their characters. The replay value is going to be ridiculous. One thing I'm very, very curious about that I have yet to hear anybody ask about or even talk about is 
I get it. We're gonna have DLC. You know, new, new DLC, which is which includes the bosses like Estelle, Max, and Shiva join the fray. But are we going? Are we going to have the enemies? Are the actual enemies going to be changed up? Are we going to have Garcia do some new stuff other than just walk around with the knife? Is he going to have elemental attacks? Can we, as players, give elemental attacks and different customizable changes to the enemies? Like that's what I'm worried. That's what I'm wondering about. I love the fact that they've given us all of these different features, but at the same token, I would like to see enemies to be buffed to some capacity. Obviously, we're gonna have Mania Plus. But I am very, very, very curious um, into seeing if enemies are going to have some crazy changes to their moveset. Are they going to have new movesets added to them? I would love to see that. Like maybe Garcia could block now. Or maybe he has a counter or something. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, The game already is going to have a, a crap ton of replay value to it. But I am wondering. That's one thing I'm thinking about are the enemies going to be buffed i'm not saying to add more enemies give them more life bars which that's probably going to be a given making them faster but are the enemies going to have new move sets just like the main characters or rather just the um protagonists of the game that's what i care about right now my thoughts on estelle is the type of character she's probably going to be um she's definitely not fast so she's a character that you want to i mean this is the this is something you should do as a streets of rage player from jump but coupling your enemies what, what i mean by coupling enemies is that you want to keep your enemies um grouped together you want to put them all your enemies in front of you but um, some characters have the luxury of being able to go from the front or rather covering the back in front of them and having the speed to actually handle enemies from different um, positions on the stage. But characters like Estelle, it seems like she's stronger when it comes to putting enemies in a row, like put, coupling them together uh, because she has long range attacks um a lot of long range attacks moves that cover a decent amount of space on the stage and she has a, a, some moves that she can actually like get out of jail free card moves uh moves like um when she jumps and throws those little flash grenades she can use those to kind of move around and evade people but she seems like one of those characters like i said long range um grouping enemies and occasionally dipping out of some bad situations to kind of regroup so yeah she seems like a very passive aggressive character in my opinion with long range attacks so if anybody who's into those kind of characters i think estelle will be that kind of character for you if things may hopefully things don't change or rather if things don't change uh, by the time the DLC gets in our hands. But based off of these visuals that I see, or rather demo that I see of Estelle, this is the kind of character she seems like she's going to be. And that's basically what I see from this character. But um, yeah, leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, This is going to be dope obviously everyone's waiting for <laughs> the release date just like your boy wes but give these guys some time to do all of that like they said they're perfectionists and so far this game is looking amazing and you know take their time hopefully they release the release date comes out sometime this month and the game the actual game or rather the dlc comes out the next month that's what I, that's 
my predictions. The end of this month, they're going to release the release date of the DLC, and the DLC is probably going to come out sometime next month. Um, with that being said, this is your boy Wes. I'm out of here. Peace.